High temperatures and dreadful humidity doesn't sound like the perfect weather for a hot cup of coffee, but once you see what they're brewing up at Wichita's newest coffee roaster, you just might be saying, I'll have another cup. Here's KSN's Barbara Bond. Today's Bon Appetit comes to you from Reverie Coffee Roasters. And if you are a coffee lover, it doesn't matter how hot it is outside, you still have to have your java. Joining me right now is Becky McNally, and she's one of the owners. And you know, you really can't have a great cup of coffee without a great bean. That's absolutely right. And uh, we start here with the raw coffee beans. A lot of people don't know, but it's the seed of a cherry-like fruit. And so these beans are two halves of a seed and there's some beans that are called pea berry beans and they're the whole beans and when you receive this it is raw and you do your own roasting right here that's right we do all of our roasting right here at the shop all right well let's show us how it's done we've got an infrared burner down here that heats the coffee and that's how it roasts i just dumped it into the drum so now the drum is spinning and the coffee is roasting and how long will it take about 14 minutes that's all. Yeah. As the roasting process uh, continues, you can see the color starting to change. And we're at a yellow tan stage right now, and it's going to start to brown soon. The beans are going through a process called first crack right now, and that is when the beans technically become a consumable product and actually start roasting. So it sounds like a bunch of Rice Krispies going off in the drum right now. This is a light roast coffee. This is our decaf Mexican coffee. So the beans look a little bit darker for a light roast because they're a more temperamental bean. So now we're going to do the pour over. Absolutely. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and pre-wet the filter so that the coffee doesn't get extract any of those uh, paper flavors. Now we're just going to go ahead and add our coffee. And you use a little more coffee than you would in a regular coffee machine for this, correct? Yeah, that's right. We're going to do an 8-ounce cup, so we're doing 16 grams of coffee right now. So now we're going to take our 200-degree water in a long stem kettle, and we're going to pre-wet the grounds and let that extract for about a minute. How would this flavor be different than a cup of coffee that comes out of our home coffee makers? Since the coffee to water ratio is a little bit more, it's a stronger cup of coffee. Um, it's also, you could say it's a cleaner cup than that of a French press because you don't get the oils from the metal filter that a French press would have. You have a paper filter, so it's a little bit cleaner. And I would imagine the flavor is worth the wait. Absolutely. So now we're going to prepare a cold toddy. I've never heard of that, and I'm sure a lot of our viewers haven't either. Well, uh, like she said, this is our cold brew toddy system, and we use a commercial version here at the shop, but this is what you would take home and use. And so this is the decanter that you put in your fridge that would hold the cold coffee concentrate, and you just put this um, basket on top, and you add your coffee grounds in there, and use about 12 ounces of ground coffee and you're going to use room temperature or cold water to brew this. Much like the Hario um, pour over, there's a lot more coffee grounds to water ratio than your normal brew cup. How long are you going to brew this? So this will sit in here for about 12 hours. Wow. We are going to make a Cafe Ole style cold brew coffee. So we're going to start with our Mexican organic Altura. What a rich color, that's gorgeous. Mm. It's gonna be delicious. And we're gonna add three pumps of spiced brown sugar and one pump of caramel sauce, and then half and half. Well, I want our viewers to know that this is a dessert in a cup. It is amazing. <laughs> Thank it's you. so sweet and has so much going on in it. And this is a lovely cup of coffee. It's really smooth. Good, I'm glad you like it. Well, terrific. Well, thanks kindly for having Absolutely. us out and showing us the roasting process. I think our viewers probably found that very interesting and showing us how to make coffee in a new way. Absolutely, it was a lot All of fun. Right. Well, listen, if you'd like directions or information regarding the products, just head on over to ksn.com, go to the entertainment link, and you'll find all of that information right there. And until we see you again, bon appétit. Bon appétit. And you can find Reverie Coffee Roasters at 2611 East Douglas, just east of Grove. They are open from 10 to 6 during the week and 9 to 4 on Saturdays.